Today's November 4th. I enjoyed a nice, bright, almost full moon pretty much the whole night last night and a warm evening as well. Very nice night to tent camp out in the desert here. Didn't find out that I drove down the wrong canyon until I looked at my GPS and this morning drove out of that wrong turn and back into the Poison Creek Wash Road, which fortunately had some recent maintenance. For road information, the best number to call is the uh, Hanksville BLM office. And they can also let you know if there's any flash flood warnings. As in most parts of Canyon Country, that's something that can definitely be a risk, especially in a slot canyon like Happy Canyon. For today, I'm going to drive as far as I can without tearing up the bottom of my Subaru here and then try to hike down to the dirty double the old-fashioned way hopefully cross and get to explore the happy canyon slot canyon here after passing over the poison spring wash one more time if the water's not flowing too high and the roads in good shape you can drive through what's known as black jump and wind around a corner towards an old uranium mine and that's where you'll find the trailhead which will give you the closest access to Happy Canyon by car in any case. There is an airstrip on the other side of Happy Canyon next to an old mine that allows access from that side that is even more remote than the approach I'm taking here. Given the difficulty of access, there's definitely more solitude in a place like this. So we'll see how we go. walking along the old mining road and now see the rocks that mark the descent down to the entrance of Happy Canyon. But right in the same area here, there's a really nice example of intact petrified wood, especially what we see crumbling apart right over here. Probably all one tree actually that broke apart, but you can see now the whole length of it here is forming the side of the, the bank. And then down the other side, there's actually a second tree. You can see the knot in the tree right there. It's kind of reddish. Pretty neat. Happy Canyon itself is just around the corner to the left there, so just about there. Having left most of my gear on the side of the canyon before the descent, I'm now down at the Dirty Devil River, about to make my way across the one water hazard here. Was somewhat cold but not overwhelmingly so. It's just a short crossing really.
making my way further up the canyon. Came upon some birds that are apparently nesting in the side of the slot canyon. Some neat acoustics here as well. Bit of an echo. Got it all to myself, which isn't a big surprise considering how difficult it is to access this particular canyon. After covering about nine miles on the round trip to Happy Canyon and back, turning this into a day hike really, so carrying the overnight gear was definitely overkill, but fortunately I left most of that weight at the top of the canyon. Really grateful that I was able to get in one more canyon hike before it gets cold and I have to go back to work. Really enjoyed the petrified wood as well. Didn't know that petrified wood existed in such abundance here. As I said, the access is definitely a limiting factor. I would say it's a good two hours drive off of Highway 95 south of Hanksville, Utah. And it's a very rough road. Definitely can recommend high clearance for that. That does vary from uh, year to year. They just did some road work uh, a couple weeks back, so I kind of got lucky there. And looking forward to another night of camping in the Red Rock Canyon country here before I head back up north tomorrow. That's all for now. See you next time.